Today's is going to be a bit of a nerdy one, friends. Well, not massively nerdy, really. Um, so, I have spent today... <laughs> let, me, uh, let me set this up with a touch of preamble. So, multi-factor authentication, sometimes known as two-factor authentication or two-step authentication, is a concept in uh, computer security, cyber security, whereby... Um, when you log into a service, website, application, etc., and um, you put in your password, you are required to have another factor in order to log in. Um, and the idea of it being multi-factor is that you pick from certain categories, like something you have, something you know, something you are. I think those are the three categories. Um, so something you know, for example, would be a password. Something you are would be biometrics, um, fingerprint, eye scanning, uh, voice scanning sometimes. That's that's a thing, I think, with banks, they tend to do that. Uh, and something you have could be, for example, a, uh, well, a device like a mobile phone that generates um, unique one-time passwords, timed one-time passwords as they're called, which is a very silly name, uh, or top of the pops as I like to call them. So, you uh, you log in and you put your password in and then it asks you for a, a top of the pops code and uh, then you get in. It's a very good way to increase the security on vital accounts or any sort of account really. It can be a bit of a faff but it's generally worth it because the code changes every 30 seconds, so it's it's very valuable to have. Um, anyway, that now you know what multi-factor authentication is, or MFA. I have spent the day... Um, you see, here's the thing. Um, let me just quickly demonstrate... I think I've actually deleted it off this phone now. Uh, <laughs> slightly risky, but, uh, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Um... I don't know if I can safely show you any of my MFA apps because they all show me codes. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess... Uh, oh no, because that shows me where I work. Gosh darn it, this is a minefield. It's a minefield. Anyway. Um, I have a couple of MFA apps. I have Microsoft Authenticator for work because we use a lot of Microsoft stuff. And I traditionally used an app called Authy. Um for my own personal stuff. And I used Authy because it syncs to all your different devices and it's, you know, pretty good. But I wanted to, um, well, I wanted to use something that was a bit more, a bit more secure because something like that, well, you can use these things to get into an account. And if you've got an authentication code, then that's usually a bit more valuable than a password. I mean, ideally you need both, but sometimes you can, uh, get away with just having an authentication code if you manage to break the password, for instance. So, you know, I kind of want it to be as secure as possible, and that means not in the cloud. And using Authy, ostensibly, it's in the cloud, because otherwise it wouldn't be able to sync. Um, so I wanted to switch um, apps. Well, of course, I've got a new phone as well, so I needed to transfer all my uh, tokens over to that. And, well, I had a bit of trouble because Microsoft Authenticator, that's got a backup thing, and it's supposed to back up to your Microsoft account, naturally. And so I had it set up, and I logged into my personal Microsoft account so I could back up all of my work tokens, as they're called, and um, in theory, that should sync to the new device smoothly. No, no, no. I had to... Well, when I when I logged back in, uh, I only got my own personal uh, Microsoft account, so I didn't get any of my work things. So I had to all, add them all back in manually, which was a major pain. I spent most of my money doing that, and um, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to change apps from Authy to another um, app, uh, which is I'm, I've gone with Aegis. Um, for, for reference, in case anybody's interested. And it turns out Authy has no export function. So that kind of... I mean, it was it was it it almost put me off migrating at all, but then I thought, you know what? I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about being locked into one service, so I'm going to make a point to move 
everything over. So I had to do all that manually as well. And in doing so, I've discovered that Twitch, you know, the, the thing that I kind of need to be able to access uh, at least twice a week, if not more often. Can't log into that now, because apparently my browser isn't supported, even though I've specifically got the latest version of Firefox, so I can log into Twitch. <sighs> All because I wanted to reset my multi-factor authentication, because Authy won't export them! Anyway, that's done now, uh, mostly. So... Yeah, that was my day. That's that's the noteworthy thing that's happened today. So there you go. How exciting, huh? Anyway, I'm going to go do a stream now. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.